I just wanna swing like Sinatra Singing like I can't stop Cause I can never rock like a rolling stone Alright, so recently, and recently I mean today for me I had somebody which I'm, I'm all for them They commented on my latest live stream That was, it, I live stream on uh, YouTube and it's it stays uploaded and then People can comment on it afterwards. Um, he commented saying he uploaded a YouTube video saying it was the best way to gain experience. And what he was doing, uh, he was playing as Axton, and he was getting an Infinity and a B, and then he was going to uh, Marcus is over here for the the dummy mission. Well, here is actually the best way to get XP. It is that is what you do. Um, except you're gonna want to play as Salvador. You're gonna go over here to Doc Mercy. You're gonna get the mission. Yeah, Doc Mercy. You're gonna go over here to Zed. Get the mission to go fight Doc Mercy. Once you get that mission, you're gonna go over to Three Horns Valley. You're going to kill Doc Mercy and he will drop the Infinity Pistol. You're going to want to keep killing Doc Mercy until you either get a regular Infinity or you get a Fire Infinity. I guess you could technically do, or no, you couldn't do a corrosive one. So you're gonna need, you're gonna want a regular infinity or a fire infinity. Um, I already have a fire infinity because I've done this method before for other characters to gain XP. Um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna come over here after you turn the mission in. You're gonna want to stand. Okay. <clears throat> you're gonna want to stand here. Wait for this to shoot you up, and it'll shoot you right here onto this ledge and Doc Mercy will spawn right up here which apparently I didn't do the mission for so he's gonna spawn right here you're gonna keep coming back and killing him until he drops an infinity pistol which this is what it is I have a burning one it's fire no prefix blah 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 crappy, crappy infinity I know it doesn't matter you're gonna come get the infinity pistol and it's what its name is it's infinity it shoots infinite ammo as long as you have one bullet for pistols, you can shoot infinite ammo forever. Okay, once you get the infinity pistol, you're gonna wanna go, you're gonna have to be near the very end of the game for this one. You're gonna want, or I guess you could go to the Tiny Tina DLC. Doesn't really matter, both of which places will give you the B shield. You're gonna wanna go back to Sanctuary, and I'm gonna try and show you as quick as I can, because I'm gonna make this one whole edit. And if you can't get that to work and you play as a Gunzerker, uh, all you need to do is rocket jump your way up there. Alright, next you're going to want to come over here to Mordecai. This is going to be near the very end of the game. You're going to want to be in the Air Nexus Badlands. You're going to come over here to Mordecai. He's going to give you a mission to go to the Hyperion Outpost in Air Nexus Badlands. You're going to want to go down here to... Oh my bad, the Boneyard. Air Nexus Boneyard. As soon as you unlock this from Iridium Blight, you can come here, go back to Sanctuary, and get the mission. And it'll give you four Iridium and the option to keep coming and farming um, Hunter Hell Quest. Alternatively, if you have the Tiny Tina DLC or the Handsome Collection, you can start the DLC, the Tiny Tina DLC, go to. You need to at least get to the forest where you kill two tree ants in one area to get blood fruit, I think it is. Once you get these blood fruit, you can continually farm those two, and they will drop you the uh, bee shield. Once again, I already have a bee shield. I don't need to sit and farm one. So, if Doc... Yeah, Doc, mercy. <laughs> if Hunter Hellquest gives me it right here, more power to him, I don't really need it. I didn't get it, I got one Iridium. So that's who you're gonna farm. You're gonna keep coming up here and killing Doc Mercy. Alternatively, I don't have, you can use a chain lightning, that works too. Um, I'll save and quit and show you. Okay, what I was saying was, <laughs> you have to turn the mission in first before you can refarm any of these bosses, ever. Any boss, that's how it works. Um, as soon as you complete it, go back to more, no, I said complete, not Siri. But after you complete it, go back to Mordecai, turn the mission in, and 
you will be able to pre-farm Hunter Hell Quest for the bee. Now, as I was saying, you could just come over here with the Chain Lightning Storm or any of those little magical things. Throw something like that right up at him. You will hit him, he will jump down, and then you can just farm him as so. Now, I'm sitting here OP8. This is what you're going to want to be. If you're going to farm XP for other characters, you want to be OP8. I'm just going to do a couple farms here while I explain this. Um, best thing to do is be on um, offline mode. You will have, as soon as you hit save and quit, it will instantly exit you to a loading screen. Now where if you're on friends only or invite only or public game, it will save the game and then it'll take time and then it'll send you to the, the loading screen. Whereas if you're on um, offline mode, it will instantly send you back to the loading screen. Because it really doesn't need to save anything because it's always saving. So every time you just throw your grenade mod up there, he will jump down, and you're just going to want to kill him and get the bee shield. Which, if I can aim... Alright, he will eventually drop it. The bee shield, along with every other legendary, is a 1 in 30 drop rate. It's 3.3% um, chance of obtaining. Okay, so, so far you have the infinity pistol and bee shield. That is all he showed you to get. There is a lot more you can get and instantly kill them and gain XP on every character you have and pretty much get to 72, from 1 to 72 on a brand new character in like 3 hours. Which, if you've ever gotten 1 to 72, you'll understand that is very fast XP. The next thing you're going to want to do, you really don't need a grenade mod at all. That's not going to help you. You can either get two, one of two um, relics. If you got a non-elemental relic, I mean a non-elemental infinity pistol, you're going to want to get a sheriff's badge. I will show you where to farm the sheriff's badge. I don't have it unlocked because I have a sheriff's badge already. You're going to want to come to Lynchwood. It is right outside the dust, very far edge of the dust. There is a train you can use to get to Lynchwood. Once you spawn into Lynchwood, you're going to have to do a bunch of side quests, which I don't have done because, frankly, I don't ever go to Lynchwood because I don't ever need a new Sheriff's Badge. You're going to want to come do all of the side quests. Once you have all of the side quests done, you are going to need to come and you will get a mission for robbing a bank once I'm pretty sure robbing the bank is the last one. After you rob the bank, you're going to come over the whole way over here during an another mission and you have to kill the Sheriff of Lynchwood. You're, this is about where you're going to be coming over to. Again, I don't have it unlocked because I don't need to have it unlocked, but I can 100% guarantee you this is how it works. Once you get that mission, you're going to come the whole way over here, and you're going to have to do some other things into that mission, but the Sheriff of Winchwood will spawn right up there. Best thing to do is throw a grenade mod at her, grab her aggro, run over here and she will eventually jump down off the ledge. Once she does so, you can come over here and kill her. Alternatively, if you're Salvador, you can just rocket jump your way up here and kill her. Um, there is the chance that her loot... Okay. Uh, her loot can get into an area where you can't, which is why throwing the grenade mod and getting her to come down here is the best way. Alright, you're gonna want to farm for the Sheriff's Badge if you have the non-elemental one. If you have the fire version, you can get a Bone of the Ancients to do even more damage. To get ancient Bone of the Ancients, you have to kill Loot Midgets. The best way to farm Loot Midgets and the best way to get Legendaries, Pearls, and Bone of the Ancients or the other Iridian Relics, you're going to have to go to the... Uh, oh shoot, what is it called? I'll show you here. But it's basically... There's a side quest you get from Tannis as soon as you unlock the place. It's called Doctor's Orders. Which I still have because I never turn it in. Um, you're going to want to come over here and Wildlife Exploration Preserve is where you're going to get this mission. Once you unlock this in the main story, you can come here, teleport back, or fast travel back to Sanctuary. Um, unlock the side doc mission... <laughs> the side mission Doc's Orders. Once you unlock that, you can come to Wildlife Exploration Preserve. And there's a few ways that you can sit and do this. If you want to do it the semi-quick way, 
you're gonna either way you're gonna want Salvador to make this the quickest. I mean you're gonna want Salvador in general, but Salvador is going to be the best way to farm everything as well. You're gonna this is gonna be the first way, this is the harder way, but it does let you farm um, the son of Mothrax as well. Which he will drop the skull masher and uh, Nine times out of ten, it's gonna go through the map, so it really, it's not worth to farm him. But in case you really want the skull masher, you're gonna come over here. You're gonna have to be Salvador, and you're gonna have to have two level, they're like level 27, level 25 bottom booms. You're just gonna need two level whatever normal Vault Hunter mode bottom booms. You're gonna want to have a Sham Shield with relatively high absorb chance. You're gonna want to have no grenade bot on. Once you are the whole way up to here, this is where you are as located to the beginning spawn. This is where Son of Mothrax spawns in. This is the very end of the Wildlife Exposition Preserve. In the mission, you will come to the very end here, kill um, Mordecai's stupid bird. I can't remember it off the top of my head right now. Bloodwing. You're going to come kill Bloodwing, and then you're going to come back the whole way over here. So alternatively, you can come to the Natural Selection Annex if you have that DLC and or if you have the Handsome Collection. You can come here, go in, come back out, and every time you save quit, you will spawn here. You're going to want to run the whole way over here, you're going to kill things here, and then right here is going to be your loot midgets. That's a semi-quick way, or if you like to kill Son of Mothrax too, you can come this way, come up to here, and as soon as you get your gun zerking back, preferably not dying, this is a very hard way of doing it. Um, I'm probably going to sit here and fail it because I have not done it in a long time. So as soon as I get my guns work back, I will come back and show you, and we will go from there. Okay, guns work is back. So you're going to kind of come up here, jump right on this ledge, guns work, throw your two grenades, grenade, rocket jump, land up on this ledge. It is hard, I don't know how I did it first try. Jump over that ledge and you will spawn in here. Best way to kill Son of Mothrax, you're going to want to get a conference call and you're going to want a grog nozzle. You're going to want to wait for him to come over here. And also, alternatively, you could use your B-Shield and pretty quickly run through Son of Mothrax. Now again, I don't come here and farm Son of Mothrax because, well, it's kind of worthless because I've only gotten one skull masher and it has fallen through the ground and I will show you in this if you really want to okay look everything didn't fall through the ground so alternatively if you do have loot and it falls through said ground you can come over here rocket jump back up to that ledge and then you can jump down into this area right there it will shoot you down through the ground and you can pick up all your loot in there Okay, so once you kill that, or you can completely skip him, it doesn't really matter. I just did an uh-oh. Okay, now that we're being, we're done being dumb, we're gonna put our sham back on. And you're gonna, you know, still be over here, not like me, and be completely dead. You're gonna wanna come over to this spot over here. You're gonna wanna jump up to here, jump up here, and you're gonna wanna double jump up to here. Come in here, fall into the spot, jump right there. You don't really need grenades for this, I do not believe. You're gonna jump up here and you're gonna land inside this part of the building. Jump over here, go up the steps. Come to this spot right here, jump up, throw your grenades down. And once they land right, you're gonna double jump and land up over the wall. Once I get my gun zerk back, I will be back and show you. Okay, we got the gun zerk back. You wanna Come over here, throw your two grenades down. Once they hit the ground, double jump, and you will land right here. Come over here, jump through the wall, and you will land in that mushroom. Run your way the whole way over here. And then you're going to want to double jump up to here. And you will be right here where the loot midgets spawn. Now, sure, that's a lot harder than going through the other place, but if you're good with rocket jumping, you can completely skip half of it. And you won't have to worry about it. Now, if you're kind of bad at the game and don't like dealing with stalkers like these two, you can come and kill them every time if you so wish. You don't have to. You're going to want to come to these three boxes, these four boxes, and you should get four loot midgets every time. My game hates me and did not give me four loot midgets. 
you'd never want to take any of these notes. You take one of these notes and you completely screw yourself for the entire farm. You will farm them enough times and they will drop you these bones of the ancients. There's one for each element minus, uh, minus explosive damage, which is why I don't have one. 39% is the highest you can get, and you can get these three elements and they will have a cooldown rate, which won't matter for this farm. Once you have the incendiary one, the only thing left you will need is a chaotic evil monk class mod. You can get this by going to the Tiny Dina DLC, which I will save and quit and show you, the best location to sit and farm said. This is the best place I've found to farm them, and I can also farm the Handsome Sorcerer while doing so. So once you spawn back in, you will go to a fast travel, and you will go to the very last fast travel of the Tiny Tina, which actually I don't even have unlocked. That's great. I don't have it unlocked. I'm not about to sit here and go through the entire Tiny Tina DLC. Actually, no, I do have it unlocked. Do I? No, I don't. But either way, you can come to any of these, which I'm just going to go to the forest and show you one real quick. All you need to do is go to the red... Technically, it could be any chest in the Tiny Tina DLC. The red ones are the best chances of getting the um, Tiny Tina DLC class mods. There's Chaotic Evil, Chaotic Good, Neutral Evil, Neutral Good, and then some other one that's kind of bad. Okay, so if you're Salvador, you can easily grenade, rocket jump your way past everything. You don't really need to worry. If you're a Breakneck Banshee, same thing, you can just run past everything. So you're going to want to come over here, which is, this is one area to farm. Um, I don't recommend this area. I'm almost certain there's one back here. There's going to be chests like these all over the map. When you open these, you have a chance to get a Mimic, which I got here. Which, they can drop the class mods if you're lucky. In this case, I didn't get one to spawn. Why is my screen glitching out? Okay. Those are the chests you're going to want to farm. These ones here, I'm almost 100% certain, will not give you the class mods. There is no reason to farm these ones because you won't get the class mods from these. You will just get weapons like that and not these class mods. The one you will want is a chaotic, chaotic evil monk. The reason you want this is because it gives you critical hit damage, it gives you fire rate, and it gives you plus 6 on money shot. Which if you play with Salvador, you know money shot does crazy amounts of damage. Once you have all of those, you are 100% ready to farm- oh, here's another chest, by the way. You're 100% ready to farm for XP. This is going to be your quickest way of gaining- Longbow Tesla, okay. Your quickest way of gaining XP. The way you want to do this. Now you have to be smart when you load into Ultimate Vault Hunter mode. As soon as you start Ultimate Vault Hunter mode and- I, There's no way I said Siri. When you start Ultimate Vault Hunter mode, you will go to Sanctuary for the first time and you will get the missions for testing out all of the weapon types with Marcus. You're going to want to get down to the Slag mission. Or the Shock mission, but the Slag mission is the one I find the best. You're going to want to come to Sanctuary, as soon as I remember where it's at. And I will show you how to get in there and then I will reset my game to show you how to do this. And then I will run to Sanctuary, and this is the way it works when Sanctuary's in the air. The mission you want from Marcus, which I will scroll the whole way down to the bottom. Because I did it because I got tired of it spawning over my grog nozzle. And the, like I said, the best way of doing this is on Salvador because you can abuse who knows how many different skills that he has to instantly kill it. The mission you want is Rock, Paper, Genocide, Slag Weapons. Do not slag the guy in there. If you slag him, you instantly screw yourself and you're done. You can't do any more. Okay, so once you have all of those and you have the mission ready, you're going to jump here, which I'm not able to do right now. Jump here, jump up there, jump up here, jump right here, land in this area. This is the thing you want to go right through it. 
I for some reason can't see a dang thing in here. Come around this way. Come right here to the edge. Come around and just walk back. You will then be right back here with the target dummy. And once I actually get to this area again, I'll be right back here and I will show you how it works. Alright, 26 minutes later, uh, I'm back in Sanctuary and ready to go. Since most of you uh, Salvador is restarted, I'm going to have to show you a different way to get in there since you're not in Sanctuary above the air. Um, I'm also going to show you a quick spec for doing this a lot easier. Okay, this is a spec, you're going to want this for faster fire rate, this for more pistol damage, that for more gun damage, because you're going to be, if you're going to be dual gun zerking, you're going to have two, uh, two pistols. This, because when you kill the enemy, you're going to get more crit damage and more fire rate, that for money shot, that's completely obvious. Um, this for more gun damage, as if your gun zerking is cooling down, which it probably won't be, uh, but it's pretty much just going to get you into no skill, like overkill for crazy amounts of damage. This, because you do not want Inconceivable for this, you're going to want this for more gun zerk time, you're going to want this for more melee, not really the melee, but the reload speed in case you really need to for, I, you don't need this at all, it's just to get down. Um, this for more gun zerking duration for the kill, so you instantly have, you uh, always will have gun zerk, because you're going to be killing him so quickly. Um, this really doesn't matter, it's just to get you down and to keep firing for even faster infinity, and then these, it's just for wasting skill points. Alright. So now that you're properly Salvador spec'd, you're gonna want to come down here, talk to Marcus. This is a mission that you're gonna want to have. He's gonna give you this weapon. You're gonna take this weapon. Since it's fire, you can't do this mission. Once he spawns this guy, you're gonna instantly kill him and/or shoot him. Doesn't really matter. As soon as he spawns in, shoot him. Come over here. This is probably going to be your... If I can talk to him. Take the next mission. He's going to give you a shock one. He's got a shield. Not really going to be the efficient way. Next mission. He's going to give you a corrosive one. Can't really use the corrosive one. Okay, then he's going to give you the slag one. Do not shoot him or throw anything that deals with slag at him. Or you will instantly screw yourself and have to restart all over again. And then, as I said, since most of you are brand new Reset Salvadors to get this mission, because you're like me and hate this mission, because it will automatically give you this pistol over the grog nozzle. You're going to need to jump up here instead. Jump over here. Then you're going to want to jump up to this spot. Jump over here. Jump up over to here. You can grenade jump it, or if you're Salvador, just double tap your rocket. Land on this spot and do the exact same thing. You could probably actually just sing yeah, you could single shot it. Next, gun zerk. Double jump your the whole way onto this spot. You're gonna land here. I might have just messed this up. Actually I did not. You're gonna land down into here. Come over here to this rock. This rock is for some reason not walk through. Do not walk too far or you will jump off the map. Come over to this area. It will open through up here, and then you can jump into the back area back here to kill said shoplifter. Okay. So, you're going to want to get rid of your gun zerk and not throw your items everywhere. Next thing, you want the B on. You do not need a grenade, but you can keep it on. You're going to want your Bone of the Ancients and or Sheriff's Badge. You're going to want the Chaotic Evil Monk. You're going to want to get rid of... All of your pistol ammo, since you are a gun zerker. Best way I've found to do this is to come here, whip these, and they will not come back and hit you. Once you get rid of all but a slim amount of your ammo, okay, we now have one pistol ammo left. You're going to want to get rid of this gun completely. 
you're going to want to put on your infinity. And if you have it on Chemterra, put that on as well. Everything else you can put in your inventory because you will not need it. Now my inventory is full because this is all the random crap that I use. Once you have everything in your inventory and all you have is your infinity, uncamped herald on, you want your B on, your chaotic monk, your bone of the ancients, and you're going to want your gunzerk ready. Next thing to do, jump on his head and land no, no. here. Slag him first. You're going to want to gunzerk, and as soon as you gunzerk, hold your pistol, fire down, and shoot your last ammo for infinite money shot. No, no, no. And then you're just going to sit here with a rubber band on your controller, and instantly, over and over and over again, kill this shoplifter. You have a second character that's going to... You can have up to four characters. As long as nobody sits here and slags this, you can go from a brand new character to 72 in about three hours. Reminder, this is OP8. You're going to have somebody here that's level 1. They're going to be easily getting over 100 XP per, per kill. You can see how quickly we're killing these. It takes one bullet and we're instantly killing them. Once you hit this sweet spot, you never have to worry about anything else. You're just going to have a rubber band ready and you're going to stick it on your controller in a certain way that you do not let go of the trigger. Now I have a PS4 controller that I'm using so it probably will be a lot harder for me to do this. Actually, I don't know if you can do this with a PS4 controller. Yeah, I don't know if you can. Either way, if you can figure a way out to do it, you can just sit like this and leave for a few hours. Come back, and you will have a level 72 character. Now, you're going to want to have either... You're going to want to level up a 72 Gunzerker on a separate account, or what you can do is use your Gunzerker, get a second account in here that's a Gunzerker, you can level them up to 72, quickly run through the entire game two times, you will be on Ultimate Ball Hunter mode, you can then glitch your way to OP8, the easiest way possible, which if you're a Salvador and you're not doing it that way, then that's your problem. You should know this. Rocket jumping the entire peak, you can do it in about 20 minutes from 0 to OP8. Once you're OP8, drop your gear, give it to that other Salvador, log back into your account as the main account, uh, as the secondary account. You have your other account that you just gave your gear to, do this, and you have your actual main profile get all of your characters to eight, OP8, or 72 this way. Um, I don't abuse this because I don't feel like abusing it. I don't need to, I enjoy playing the game. Now if you just want your characters to level 72 and then grind them to OP8 quick, go ahead. But this is your easiest way of doing it and you just sit here for hours. I mean, I didn't really have to make this video, but it's more or less for the guy that thought that his way was the best way. Sure, you can do it that way. but. He was having trouble even killing one shoplifter, let alone instantly killing everyone that pops up. As you can see, I've not had a single problem and my Gunzerk is not running out at all. It is still very much maxed. And this would just keep going on and on forever because you would just continually keep getting the overkill bonuses to doing 700 plus million damage. Um, guy that showed me the video, I'm going to try and link this to you somehow. This is what you want to be doing. <laughs> Either way, I'm going to go edit this quick. It's not going to take that long because I didn't have to make many cuts. This is what you do. Merry Christmas. Happy, happy level 72s to all of you. Okay, I forgot to show this. Alternatively, if you're having trouble somehow one-hitting him, which you shouldn't be, you can get yourself a Lady Fist. I prefer to get one with matching grip, and obviously it really doesn't matter at all, because all you want is the 800% critical hit bonus. You can get a slag one, just make sure you don't shoot it. I have one, but I also have a shock one. What you want to do is you want to get this set up like I have right here, and you're going to want to make sure you have everything like you were supposed to in the last one. You're going to want to hold out your unkempt herald. You're going to want to, as soon as you do, hold the left trigger button so you can instantly shoot your infinity. Shoot your herald, aim down, start doing it like you were. Now, if you are having trouble, hit the Y button, you will hold out a Lady Fist, and you will do even more critical hit damage. Just one way to show you how to do it easier. 
that's about it. I don't know really what.